Good evening. I'm Captain Kevin Burns, Jr., assigned to the New Orleans Police Homicide Division. I have with me today members of the entire violent offender warrant squad behind me. I also have Sergeant Daniel Hyatt, who's also assigned to the New Orleans Police Homicide Division. We're here today to provide an update on the homicide that took place near the Walmart on yesterday, a little bit over 24 hours ago, near Chef and Louisa. During that time, the decedent was shot and killed near the bus stop, as we all know. Responding officers arrived within minutes, rendered aid, and also secured the Walmart. Once this was ruled a homicide, our detectives worked tirelessly to identify and hold accountable Mr. Gregory Woods. An arrest warrant was issued for second degree murder for Mr. Woods by our homicide division, and he will be charged again with second degree murder. As Superintendent Woodfalk informed the public on February 2nd, we will pursue the most violent individuals in this city to make New Orleans safe for everyone. Our VALS unit, who's standing behind me right now, has been searching for Mr. Woods nonstop since we had this warrant issued and prior to. We, the community, the family, would like to thank the detectives and our VALS unit for their contributions as a part of this investigation and finding Mr. Woods on today. And again, he was uh, apprehended in New Orleans East um, without incident. That's it. Can you give us, uh, fill in some of the blanks about uh, a possible motive in this case? How old uh, is Mr. Woods and, and how old was the victim? Were they acquaintances at some point? Well, while I don't have all of that information, I can tell you, we were on the scene with the family yesterday, the mother, correction, the sister, the cousin, and other family members who were out on the scene that day. There was one thing that we promised them. We would do our best to find out who did this to their family member, and that brings us to where we are today. We do have an apprehension. We're pleased that we brought justice in the swiftest way possible. Uh, I'll give you his date of birth. They're all adults. Um, was, was LSD involved in this at all? We did have uh, assistance from uh, Jefferson Parish. We would like to thank Jefferson Parish for air support on yesterday. And uh, that's all we had as far as outside agencies. Um, when was that warrant issued and when exactly today was the uh, Woods arrested? The warrant was issued at about 7 o'clock last night. And uh, Mr. Wood was taken into custody um, less than an hour ago. And how did he determine him as the perpetrator? A great investigation, that's how. We relied on technology, relied on individuals coming forward, the public, the community, everybody. Um, responding officers, the tireless efforts of the detectives. I, could, I can go on and on in how we came to get a warrant for this, this gentleman. That's still under investigation. Um, I know you said that Jefferson Parish assisted with air support. Um, I know Superintendent Woods talked of, uh, you know, NOPD possibly passing these rooms. Um, you know, is this the kind of case where it would, you know, be more beneficial if, if NOPD could pass rooms? Of course, any anything. We would we we welcome any technology. We welcome any help that we can get. If it's going to help us to do our jobs better, bring people to justice who's out committing crimes, we welcome anything. Very, it was very fast. It was within minutes. Can you tell us anything about the arrest? Was that his residence? Was he hiding out somewhere? Can you tell us anything about the arrest itself this afternoon? Well, we don't have an actual confirmed residence, like a driver's license per se, but usually individuals hop location to location to avoid arrest, and I believe that's what the case was today. Uh, what time was that arrest? Less than an hour ago. Have you guys done any kind of video or pictures of Mr. Woods? 
We may. We may. That, we'll take that into consideration. Can, can you maybe talk a little bit about the brutality of this particular killing in broad daylight on a busy street at a public bus stop in front of, uh, I, I counted probably at least a, a half a dozen other people sitting at that bus stop? I can't explain that. It, it, I have no words for that, sir. I don't, I don't understand why humans would do that to one another. I don't understand it. I don't have an answer for that. It appears to be. And can you now confirm that he did hide out for a time in the Walmart? Yes, so that was some information that was uh, under investigation on yesterday. He did not hide out. He simply went in and went out. Did, and he changed before he came out? We don't have that information. Correction, we do have that information. Um, in yesterday's press conference, um, one of the, the, uh, the deputy superintendent did put out that uh, he did change within the neighborhood, but not within Walmart. Can you say that one more time? I'm sorry. He changed in the neighborhood? In the neighborhood, not, not within Walmart. That was on yesterday's press release. Was he found with a weapon? We're not going to comment on that, but we do have answers for that. We're just not going to comment on that just yet. Can you say what kind of weapon was used at the shooting? Semi-automatic. Semi-automatic. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you all.